Another diplomatic mission of sorts started today, this one to the Soviet Union, to continue a dialogue with Soviet President Andropov on nuclear disarmament. Those types of face-to-face -face meetings are rare enough, this one especially so. Our diplomat is an 11-year-old schoolgirl. A fifth-grade girl from Manchester, Maine, named Samantha Smith, wrote a letter to Soviet Union leader Yuri Andropov. I have been worrying about Russia and the United States getting into a nuclear war, she wrote. Are you going to vote to have a war or not? If you aren't, please tell me how you are going to help not have a war. P.S. Please write back. Samantha, you've got quite a pen pal there. What did he write to you? Well, I asked him, why do you want to conquer the world? And he wrote back to me and said that he wanted nothing of the kind. In his letter, Andropov invited Samantha and her parents to visit the Soviet Union. The Soviets continued treating 11-year-old Samantha Smith almost as if she were a visiting head of state. During their two-week trip, Samantha became one of the Cold War's most improbable peace ambassadors. Uh, will you please tell me the feeling of a girl whose dream is coming true? Huh? What do you feel I now? I can't explain it. It's yeah? just terrific. Why the Kremlin invited Samantha to the USSR was a matter of speculation. That was one of the concerns that people had in the United States about her going was that she was going to be a tool of the Soviets, a, a propaganda dupe. dupe. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I don't think anybody was prepared for Samantha, frankly, because she was guileless. I think that just enchanted everybody. At Camp Artek in Crimea, Samantha was welcomed by thousands of Soviet kids, few of whom had ever even met an American. In a camp tradition, she threw a bottle with a message of peace into the Black Sea. On August 25th, Samantha and her father were killed along with six others in a tragic plane crash. And I think Samantha was telling me that I don't have to be grown up to make a difference. If I just be me, I have a chance of doing the great things she accomplished in her short life.